Let's face it. No matter how amazing your 3D scene looks in Blender, there's always a room to make it better. Think of it like photograph. Nobody shares a raw, unedited photo straight from the camera. They tweak the colors, adjust the lighting, and polish it in the post-production to make it shine. The same goes for your renders. Take this scene for example. It's packed with fur, foliage, and fine details. Sure, you could render it once and try to fix everything later in Photoshop or DaVinci. But what if I told you there's a smarter and more powerful way to level up your post processor? That's where Render Layers and CryptoMat comes in. Instead of editing your entire scene as one flat image, you will learn how to break it into pieces like separating characters, objects, and backgrounds. This isn't just about fixing mistakes, it's about giving you a total control over every shadow, color, and detail after you hit render. Let's jump into Blender and unlock the magic of post processing. Let me show you how to do this in Blender. By default, you already have a view layer setup, but we need to create separate layers for different parts of the scene. Let's start with the cup. Click Add View Layer, rename it to the Character Layer, and disable any temporary collection you don't need. Next, organize your scene into collections like cup, tree, ground, so each can be turned on or off per layer. Now, here's the trick: holdouts. Right-click a collection, like ground or foliage, go to the view layer and set it to holdout. This hides those objects visually but keep their shadow and lighting intact. So when you render the character layer, you will only see the cup, but the scene still feels realistic because the light interacts with the hidden objects. Repeat this for trees, backgrounds, planes and other elements. Once your layers are ready, head to the compositor. Enable use node to start building your setup. You will see all your render layer listed here. To preview them, connect a viewer node to each layer. But to combine layers, use the alpha over node. Connect your character layer to the top input and the ground layer to the bottom. Repeat this for every layer until your scene comes together. But wait, what if you need to tweak just the background grass in the ground layer? That's where CryptoMat saves the day. Go to your view layer settings, enable all three CryptoMat passes, object, material, assets, and re-render. Back in the compositor, add a CryptoMat node, click the plus icon, then use the eyedropper to select the background grass. Instantly, you will get a mask for just that part. Connect it to a color correct node and now you can adjust the grass without touching the rest of the scene. This workflow isn't just powerful, it's essential. By splitting your scene into layers and using cryptomats, you are not just saving time, you are giving yourself creative freedom to experiment, adjust and perfect your work after hitting render. No more starting over, no more waiting, just total control. Now that you have learned the secret sauce, professional use, it's time to put it into the action. Let's render your scene. Start by adding an output node at the very end of your compositor node setup. This tells the Blender, hey, this is the final image I want to save. Next, press N on your keyboard to open the sidebar under the node tab. You will see a spot to set your output folder. Click the folder icon, choose where you want to save your renders and pick your file format like PNG or EXR. By the way, EXR keeps all your layers and detail intact for later tweaking. Once everything is set, hit render animation. Blender will work its magic, saving each layer exactly how you designed it in the compositor. No complicated steps, no guesswork, just hit the button, grab a coffee and let Blender handle the rest. If this tutorial leveled up your Blender skills, smash that like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a pro tip. Drop a comment asking for a tutorial you need me to make for you. Remember. Compositing isn't cheating, it's artistry. See you next time.